Welcome back to Radiology Buzz, where we delve deep into the fascinating world of medical imaging. Today, we're embarking on a journey through the intricate landscape of MRI spine indications, unraveling their complexities and offering in-depth definitions to equip you with a thorough understanding. Let's dive right in with disc herniation, a common condition where the gel-like material within a spinal disc protrudes through its outer layer, often resulting in nerve compression and debilitating pain or weakness. Spinal stenosis, characterized by the narrowing of the spinal canal, can exert pressure on the spinal cord and nerves, leading to symptoms ranging from pain to numbness or weakness. Degenerative disc disease, another prevalent ailment, involves the gradual wear and tear of spinal discs over time, manifesting as pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. Spondylolisthesis, a condition where a vertebra slips out of place, can compress spinal nerves, resulting in pain or weakness. Now, let's explore the realm of tumors. Spinal tumors, whether benign or malignant, can cause a myriad of neurological symptoms depending on their location and size. Infections such as discitis or osteomyelitis can wreak havoc on the spine, leading to inflammation, pain, and in severe cases, structural damage if left untreated. Ankylosing spondylitis, a form of inflammatory arthritis, affects the spine and sacroiliac joints, resulting in stiffness, pain, and potentially fusion of vertebrae. Trauma, whether fractures or ligamentous injuries, can cause pain, instability, and even spinal cord injury depending on their severity. Cauda equina syndrome, characterized by compression of nerves at the base of the spinal cord, leads to a constellation of symptoms, including lower back pain, sciatica, and loss of bowel or bladder control. Myelopathy encompasses various conditions affecting the spinal cord, resulting in weakness, numbness, or difficulty walking. Transverse myelitis, marked by inflammation of the spinal cord, presents with symptoms ranging from pain and weakness to sensory disturbances and paralysis. Multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune disease, affects the central nervous system, including the spinal cord, leading to fatigue, numbness, weakness, and coordination issues. Synovial cysts, developing near facet joints, can cause back pain and sciatica by compressing nearby nerves. Osteoporotic compression fractures, commonly seen in the elderly with osteoporosis, result in back pain and loss of height due to weakened vertebrae. Spinal cord infarction, caused by blockage of blood supply, leads to sudden and severe neurological deficits due to tissue damage. Arachnoiditis, inflammation of the arachnoid membrane, presents with chronic pain, numbness, and weakness. Sacroiliitis, inflammation of sacroiliac joints, often accompanies conditions like ankylosing spondylitis, causing lower back and buttock pain. Spinal cord compression, whether by bone fragments or tumors, results in pain, weakness, numbness, and potentially paralysis. Spinal arteriovenous malformation, AVM, and spinal cord cavernous malformation, both involving abnormal blood vessel clusters, can lead to pain, weakness, and bleeding into the spinal cord. Spinal cord cysts and syrinx, fluid-filled sacs or cavities within the spinal cord, cause pain, weakness, and various neurological deficits. Spinal osteomyelitis, a bacterial infection of spinal bones, results in back pain, fever, and potentially neurological deficits. Spinal cord injury, characterized by damage to the spinal cord, leads to paralysis or loss of sensation, depending on the severity. Lastly, spinal cord ischemia, caused by reduced blood flow, results in sudden and severe neurological deficits due to tissue damage. That concludes our comprehensive guide to spinal disorders. Stay tuned to Radiology Buzz for more insightful discussions on radiology. Until next time, take care.